Hi there, I've got another instrument that I'd like to show you. A couple of months ago in July 2019, I visited Shanghai and went to, is it called Wuxi, Wuxi, W-U-X-I, the home of various harmonica factories like Consheng, East Top and Sea Sound. This here is something I want to show you. This is the Consheng Solist. So we're going to unbox it now and see what it's like. Now this company's been around nearly, well, just over 20 years and they have, I think, more than 100 people working for them and they make beautiful instruments. I was really impressed with the factories there. So this is the, they call it folk, folk harp. Well, I ain't never seen a horse playing a harp, so I guess it's a folk harp. It's really heavy. I'm struggling to keep it off the ground here. That's because it has an aluminium body. And if you can see that glinting in the sunlight here. But it's a beautiful piece of work. It's a sculpture, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? And we'll take the cover plates off and we'll have a look. I think it's welded, spot welded, I believe. Yeah, I think I can see that. Which is a system that is supposed to give a more airtight harmonica and the reeds are supposed to not move around laterally. I guess they can't, can they? It does seem to make more sense than a rivet in there which something can swivel on. I don't know. Anyway, this is how it, that's the that's the top of it, by the way. So it's the solist diatonic ten hole folk harp. This one I think is in the key of C. So it has a very nice response. It's quite a bright sound. It's gonna be loud, isn't it, I reckon? Bending seems very easy to me. That's an overblow there. I can even bend the overblow up. That to me then indicates that it's uh, well made. There's, there's precision involved. Oh, not on hole five. So that would need a bit of a tweak. I would have to tweak that one. This is, don't forget, this is only one harmonica. So this is not necessarily representative of what everyone will sound like or play like. And the factories can't set up a harmonica to suit your individual playing. They don't know, well, they don't know you. <laughs> they have no idea how you play. It's a bit like when you get into a car, you adjust the seat, the mirror, the steering wheel, the, everything to suit you personally. And you have to do that with harmonicas, in my opinion, even the most expensive ones. You need to set them up to suit you. Yeah, I don't think you could really have any complaints about this. It just has a really nice feel to it. You feel like you're playing something solid. You feel like it's going to last. I don't know whether it will or not. We haven't really had these out for very long, but uh, I'm, I'm guessing it, it will do. Nice smooth edges all around. Let's try the top end, see how that bends. Works perfectly well. I can give the reeds quite a belting and they seem to be fine with that. Yeah, I 
like this. I'm going to take the lid off in a moment. But what I'll just say is you can get one of these. If you're in the States, you can get one of these from Rocking Rons or AliExpress. If you're in the UK, you can get it from AliExpress or sunnyboysmusicstore.co.uk. The difference, of course, they're the same product and it's going to be roughly the same price. The difference is with Sunny Boys, you'll get it in a couple of days, provided it's in stock. With AliExpress, you need to look at the, the form on the website and you'll see it's something like, last time I looked, 25 to 40 days. So do you want to wait 40 days for harmonica? Maybe you do, or maybe you don't. The other thing is you can sometimes get a duty bill, a customs bill. I just ordered some, I had some harmonicas returned to me from repair and I got this come through the post, 18 pounds. Where does it say that? Oh yeah. I've got to pay 18 pounds 40 customs charge for repaired harmonicas from sent from the States. So you might, I don't know, you might get that if you order direct from abroad. The, the other issue with ordering from AliExpress is if it goes wrong, what are you going to do? You're going to send it back to China? To the factory? Well, good luck with that one. If it goes wrong and you've bought it from Sunny Boys, you can phone us up and you can say, hello, Ben, it's gone wrong. <laughs> sort it out. We paid you, you sort it out. So we will do our best to sort everything out. I think we can send them back to the factory if they're wrong, we can replace it, we can refund. You'll get some people in England who can deal with it on a phone, on an email. And uh, that's the sort of three things that are different about it. Apart from that, it's the same instrument. It's going to be roughly the same price. We might have to charge a little bit more than AliExpress because the postage is, this is going to cost me four or five pounds to send to you, whereas it's actually cheaper from China, about a pound. Who knew? And uh, that's the only difference. The other thing, of course, is we have to buy them up front and pay for them and keep them in our warehouse in the UK. So there's a little bit of admin and costs with that. Why don't we look under the lid? Let's have a look. Don't go away. Okay, so let's take this apart now. Um, there's the cover plate, very solid, as you might expect, beautifully made. I mean, really, this is a bit of a work of art, I think. Is this possibly the best diatonic that's ever been made? I don't know. Time will tell. But it's pretty good. I can't see anything wrong with it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to hold it together. Um, actually nine because you, you've got the whole thing being held together on that one, so nine. Um, it is welded, spot welded, as we suspected. So that's going to give you more stability with the reeds, I'm told. Phosphor, phosphor bronze reeds is what they say it's made from. You will have to alter the gaps with any harmonica that you get to suit your playing, as I said. But that's a pretty well-made beast, I think. It looks good to me. Nicely done. Let's see if... What was the hole that wouldn't overblow? Was it five? Okay, so if I can if I can press my finger on the blow hole on the blow reed and it all works, that means the draw reed is functioning perfectly well. So all you would have to do is do some tweaking to the blow reed because it will tend to have a, a sort of sideways wobble. That's I think that's what causes that. So that's perfectly fixable. So I think you will be very pleased with that. Now they're not cheap harmonicas these. People describe in the past harmonicas from China being cheap Chinese, a word that I can't mention. Well they're not that word anymore and they're not cheap anymore. They are Chinese but they are very high quality so you have to rethink that whole concept. Of course they do make cheap ones as well but um, these are not that's going to be about 50 pounds, I think, 46, 50. 
at the moment, but I suspect this will go up quite a lot. So you might want to get one in quickly. So we've got some of these at sunnyboysmusicstore.co.uk. Uh, I think we've got a couple in now. We've got more coming in the next few days. And then next week, there's a load more coming in the key of C. So if you'd like one, get in touch. And I think you'll enjoy it. We'll see you there. Bye for now.